M0FXB, welcome to my channel, Yesu FTM500. Good news, the ADMS16 programming software has now been released. This video is going to cover how to use that with the SCU5640 or 20 cable. First thing to do is to download the software and the, the USB driver. So go to Files. I'll just show you what the uh, cable looks like. It's like this, SCU56. This is the whole kit. You get the audio leads. You don't have to have them, but it just makes sense to get them at the same time. The kit is called the Yesu SCU58, and it also enables you to use the WireZX system and this programming software. And I'm pretty sure the cable will also work with RT systems if you download their software. But anyway, that's the back of the radio there. The cable will connect here where it says data, and that's a 10 pin cable. Back to file, scroll to the bottom, download the drivers which are here, prolific drivers there, I've already installed these. Uh, so double click and the one I ran when you double click again is the one, two, three, the, f uh, the fourth one down like so, but it won't install it again because I've already got it. But that's what it looks like. Oh, it might do, yeah you are, see it won't let you, but anyway, you get it. So don't connect the cable to the computer yet um, because you want to load the drivers first. Just getting this out of the way. But you can get everything ready, plug it into the radio and put it by your USB connector on your PC ready. Then the programming software, which looks like this on the right hand side. Click that here, ADMS 16, double click double click the yellow file then set up XE again I've already got this but just follow the process through and it's going to create a shortcut for you which looks like the one I've got down here okay if I double click it it will open up the software now I need to make sure you can see the radio because there is a process for reading first thing you want to do is now connect the cable to your PC right click your little Windows logo go to device manager Turn on the radio, of course. Com ports, and mine is 12. Look, see it there? Prolific 20312. So you need to see the word prolific USB serial. 12 is on mine, your number will be, will be different. So go to communications, scroll to the bottom, and it says com port settings. So communications at the bottom. You're not connected yet, you see. And then on the right, you've got a drop down. Select the 12 and then click determine and that means you're connected now so we've got the cable connected to the back of the radio which is here we've got the software open now let's tell the radio to start reading and writing so hold down the function button hold it down and scroll down to 119 now you can scroll down faster by turning the bottom knob it changes the blue titles at the top. Once you get to 119, click enter or push the, the knob. And you want it to say this other radio. Go to your software where at the top here says communications. Get data and it does what I've just said. It does tell you here as well. So hold down 119 and then press Press the OK button on the radio and the software reasonably quick and then it will just automatically start to read the radio. So we're going to turn the knob to the left so it highlights in orange the OK. Then press OK and then click OK on the software and if you've done it right it will start to read. Now if, if you get an error like mine don't worry because you can just do it again. So press enter. Let's just cancel that. We're going to press communications. It took me a couple of times last time. Get data. Click OK. And then OK on the radio. And there you are. It started to read now. Very similar process for writing. Remember, you can, if you've got an SD card, you can save your settings on the radio onto the SD card. And when you communicate, you can select SD. We'll do that at the end of this video just for fun. So that's reading. Okay, everything's there now. Look, you can see that everything is, all our memories are there. 
scrolling down and to make a change just click one type in the frequency like so puts the shift in for you you can select automatic detect of fm or digital you can name it like so and so on and so on it's all pretty standard radio stuff you can put in your tone you can import and export items i've not done that yet but you can import and export files you've got a big settings window here so you go at the top it says settings you click settings and then you've got some sub tabs that show up so here's your settings and you've got common these are called common it's all your settings that if you held down the function that's your settings you've got gm y as x aprs aprs beacon so all this for free i think it's pretty good uh, might you may find it easier than programming the radio manually these are just my memory channels. I haven't got what they call a code plug or a big group, a preset because the radio tends to want something. It wants to, it tends to want to save and write what has come from your radio. I'm not saying you can't import, you, you can, but you need to get the right foot. You need to get to the right point before you start importing files. You can import here, you have to sort of save, write, read and write before you start importing files, if that makes any sense. SD card wise, if we go, if we get the SD card out of my radio, plonk it into my, I'm unplugging the cable now and put it into my, my SD card reader straight into my PC. Now remember, I've already saved to this. So I just plugged it in. I'll just show you how to save. You go back, hold down the knob again, scroll up with the bottom knob until you see SD card. It's not showing anything there because I've taken the SD card out. Let me just put it back in and I can show you. Okay, so I put it back in and it's found it and then you just turn up with the right hand top knob, click back up and then you put right to CD, so it writes everything you've got, click all, then turn to the left, click OK, it will save everything. There you Once you've done that, you can take it out, put it into your adapter on your PC. I've done this in a separate video, but. Okay, that's in. There's your file straight away. That's on my USB drive D basically your SD card plugged into the computer. This time, let's just close that window down. We may as well save the changes. And it does save these files. We'll start again from scratch. So no cable now. We'll just go communication, get data from SD card, click all. Go to USB drive and then go to your yeah, your backup. So you're going to click FTM 500D, backup, CDAT file, look, or D, let's have a look now. It's a DAT file. And there you are, everything's there. You can make your changes. When you finish making your changes, you go communications, send data to SD card. You can choose the same place or you can choose a new place, give it a new name, save, yes. And then when you put that back into your radio, all you would do, just going back in the radio now, the gold bit is facing backwards, back in the radio, then you just hold down, go to 107 back up, read from SD card, go turn the knob to the right, push it, all, push it, there's that file name, push, turn to the left, for OK, and it will load up what you've done. I think that's an easier way to do things myself because the SD card is in the head unit, it's just easier. So thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Please remember to like and subscribe. Links will be in the description. 7-3, all the best.